Today we're looking at the new adventure games, The Dungeon and Monochrome Inc. Thanks for joining us at Tantrum House Studio D. I'm Melissa Delp. And I'm Kevin Delp. The Adventure Games are co-op games published by Cosmos. These are designed by Phil Walker-Harding and Matthew Dunstan. We were able to see a German version of these games at Gen mm -hmm. Con, but we were super excited to get our hands on the English versions. Cosmos sent these to us, so let's check them out. Each game comes with a rulebook and an adventure book, location cards, numbered cards, and tokens to represent your character. In Monochrome Inc., there are standees, and in the dungeon, you have wooden meeples. We're going to keep this video as spoiler-free as possible, <laughs> because it's an adventure game. You're unlocking things and revealing them along the way, and of course you want to discover those things yourself. So we're just going to talk in general about how the game plays and then our thoughts. You'll be starting in a location, and each game will tell you what you need to do, like trying to escape the dungeon. The game comes with a turn overview card that will tell you what you can do, like trading cards with other players, moving, exploring, and things like that. You'll be reading entries in this adventure book, and you'll see things in the room, and the book will have numbers by those items so that you can read those different entries later in the game. And as you're reading those entries, you might actually find objects, which are cards that the game will tell you to take. Mm -hmm. Now say that I find a chain, and it's item number 11, and then later I find a hook, and it's item number 14. I may think, hey, maybe I can put the chain and the hook together, so then you would uh, combine those numbers and you would look it up in the book, so 1114. Mm -hmm. 1114. One, yes. <laughs> and you would go to that entry. Maybe there's something there, maybe there's nothing there, mm -hmm. but you could get a new item with those things combined. Yeah, and sometimes we messed up because we were looking at a two uh, digit item with a three digit item. Putting those together makes a five digit item, but we were looking in the four digit item spot. <laughs> right. The good thing though is that the book is color coded, mm -hmm. so you just have to remember and remind the other players oh, five digits, make sure you're looking in the gray section of the book, not the, the orange. orange section. You can try lots of combinations of cards. That is just going to take time, and you may or may not succeed. You may accidentally look at another number as you're scanning for your numbers, which I did a couple times in the game. <laughs> I think it would be helpful if you just inputted a code into an app like you do in the Unlock games, which I actually think Cosmos is working on app integration. It just wasn't available yet when we played our games. As far as difficulty goes, I think that there were a few more logical leaps in Monochrome Inc. than there were in the dungeon, mm -hmm. but we did play Monochrome first, so by the time we got to the dungeon we were more familiar <laughs> with the game system and right. some of the things that we were looking for. All said though, I do think dungeon is a little easier. I agree. There are hints in the back of the rulebook that can help you if you get stuck in a location or don't know what to do with an item. There's lots of locations and things to find, and the game will tell you when you get to the end of a section, and how you should score. So far, each game has been divided into three sections, and each section plays in about 60 to 90 minutes. Now, we were so engrossed in the story, we actually played four player, and we were like, do you want to play the next section? Yeah, so everyone was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we actually played all three sections in one night, and I actually highly recommend that. It was nice, we followed the storyline well. You don't have to do it that way. You can save your progress and pick it up another night. Now, we didn't just sit there like straight four hours no. playing. We did take a little break at each of the section ends. We had dinner, we watched a TV show. So even though we did it in one night, it wasn't just straight sitting at the table for four hours. The dungeon game says for ages 12 and up, and I think that is appropriate. The monochrome ink says 16 and up, I think the biggest reason is because there are some gruesome things going on that might not be great for younger kids. There's a lot of different paths that you can take, and the game is replayable to an extent. I mean, you'll definitely know what's going on in the game the second time you play it, but the second time you play it, you could get a different ending, and you can explore different things in the game. 
There's also some places where the game will give you a different result depending on which character oh, yeah. is actually looking at the item or mm -hmm. attempting the task. In those situations, there'll be an entry for each character mm -hmm. and you'll just go to the one that matches the character doing it. So as a group, you really need to think through which character <laughs> has the right traits for this task because it could be the difference of succeeding or getting hurt. The art and the illustrations are great. It might be nice if the cards were even bigger, but that's just a minor thing to complain about. Sometimes it was hard to see a specific number from across the table. So Cosmos also publishes the Exit games, mm -hmm. and I'm sure a lot of people are going to wonder how they compare yeah. to that series. Well, Exit is an escape room game. It's lots and lots of puzzles. Lots of puzzles and you often destroy things, so it's hard to pass them on. They're more consumable. This game, while there are some puzzles, it's more about the story mm -hmm. and working together as a group. And they are replayable, like Kevin had said. You yeah. can even try them again and potentially make different choices to get different endings because you can't do everything in the game. There are going to be paths where depending on if you choose A or B, it's going to affect the rest of your story. Right. So it's more working together as a team. Yes, some mysteries, mm -hmm. some puzzles, but a lot less than exit and unlock in those games. I truly enjoyed both adventures and love the experiences that they both bring to the table. Uh, these games, these adventure games, were in my top 10 most anticipated board game list for Essen Spiel Fair. And you can check that video out up there. They didn't disappoint. I think you should definitely check these out when they come to your friendly local game store. Uh, if you like stories, if you like adventures, if you like a little bit of mystery, definitely check out the adventure games Dungeon and Monochrome Inc. And probably more coming soon. And thank you for joining us today at uh, Tantrum House, and we would love for you to subscribe as well.